In this report, I'm going to tell you how Tesla hacked Chinese equipment to onshore American battery production. Tesla is utilizing used Chinese technology to fuel its mega pack ambitions in the United States. Welcome back, everyone. This is Armin Haria from Tortoise.com. Bloomberg is reporting that Tesla will reportedly expand electric vehicle battery production in Nevada opening a small facility using idle equipment from China's CATL. CATL is the largest electric vehicle battery producer in the world and in China, and it sells a lot of batteries to uh, Tesla vehicles. Tesla will have full control of the facility and cover 100% of the costs, and CATL personnel will be uninvolved other than helping to set up the equipment. The plant, which will make sales for Tesla's large battery Megapack product, is part of a broader effort to ensure the supply chain for lithium iron phosphate LFC sales in America. Tesla also sees the equipment purchase arrangement as a cost-effective way to set up a new facility. Of course, you know, if you're using uh, used uh, equipment is going to be cheaper and we're talking about a lot of equipment to build electric vehicle batteries and CATL has a lot of experience in this field. So according to Bloomberg, initially this plant will have a limited output, around 10 gigawatt hour, the people said, and be expanded if the project goes smoothly and the supply chain can be established. So it looks like the problem can be establishing the supply chain, but I think Tesla can fix that because uh, regarding the project going smoothly, I don't see any problem there because as more electric vehicles are going to produce, they will all need batteries. So I think there will be smoothness on that regard, but Tesla has to work hard to uh, establish probably a local supply chain to localize the supply chain as much as possible for its electric vehicle battery production. The facility likely won't be operational until 2025, again Bloomberg reports. It could eventually account for about 20% of Tesla's battery production in the region, including the Latrobe location. This is very exciting, friends. What do you think about this? You know, in 50 to 100 years from now, this place might be colossal and have one of the largest lithium mining operations on the plant surrounding it. That is, if we haven't already hit the amount of material in the recycling loop required for the foreseeable future. Let me know your thoughts. What about, what do you think about Tesla utilizing a used equipment from China's CATL electric vehicle battery producer to produce or expand its production of electric vehicle batteries in Nevada. Again, this is Armin Harayan. Please like this video if you uh, like this report. Give us thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and let me hear your thoughts in the comment section below. We'll continue the discussion there. God bless you, everyone. See you soon in our next report.